Hi guys, welcome to part two of my video about my Poland plan and house and everything else. So if you haven't watched part one yet, please go and do so. I will link it up here and down below and have a look at what I'm talking about before I dive into the numbers. My focus been drifting away from you. Just wasn't out. So of course, before people start commenting, I'm just gonna caveat this. I know things can change. I know prices of products and labor can change. I know that the exchange rate might change, but I have to have something to work towards. I can't just say, oh, I don't know how much it's gonna cost. This gives me a good ballpark figure. And if things get more expensive, then okay, it might take me a couple months more to get to where I need to be. But this is just sort of the current prices and what I think it's gonna cost. So the project itself gives you a valuation of how much it's going to cost to essentially build a very bare bones closed version of the house. So that includes like the walls and the foundations and the roof and everything else. I'm not very uh, house building aware, so don't ask me about the specifics, but essentially what people say is that the number that they give you, you should essentially double for getting a good idea of how much the house is going to cost you. And they are using sort of average figures. So again, it will depend massively on whether I get cheaper materials or more expensive materials and things like that. But ballpark figure, the house they are saying is going to cost 132,800 zlotys. So if we double that to get us to the full sort of completed stage, we're looking at about 265,000 zlotys, which if we then divide by five, which is the current exchange rate, is essentially about 55,000 pounds if we round up. That's the cost of just the house, but that's not everything that I'm gonna have to spend money on. So I mentioned in the last video that I wanted the eco-friendly heat pump and the solar panels. So both of those are gonna be quite expensive. I think I'm looking at about 10,000 pounds for the solar panels and about 15,000 pounds for the heat pump. So that brings our total so far to 80,000 pounds. Now, I also need some safety. So I will need a fence and fencing is actually quite expensive. It was not something that I'd considered to be expensive until I actually found out how much it's gonna cost. But essentially I'm gonna be looking at around 4,000 pounds depending on the kind of fencing that I want but essentially each side is gonna be around a thousand pounds. I also mentioned that I'm gonna to have to get rid of that pesky pole in the middle of my land, which I think is gonna cost about 2000 pounds. I'm also gonna have the cost of moving. So, you know, I have my whole life here. I'm gonna have clothes and furniture and yes, I could sell probably most of my stuff here, but I don't see the point of selling loads of stuff for like way cheaper than I purchased it for and then buying new stuff like, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna sell certain things that I'm definitely not gonna use that aren't gonna go with the new interior. But a lot of the stuff is perfectly fine. So as an example, I want a sofa in my study as well as in the living room. So the sofa I've got here behind me, I'm gonna use that as my study sofa. Same with the big red chair that I've got. I love that chair. That's definitely going either in my bedroom or in the study. You know, my desk, my lamp. So I'm gonna have to spend, I think about one to one and a half thousand pounds on that. I also think I'm gonna want to build a garage at some point. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna have a car, I've already talked about that before, but the garage is great for storing stuff, even things like bikes and stuff like that. So I'm assuming about 10,000 pounds for that as well, which takes our total to 96,000 pounds. So I try to round it up. I'm gonna assume 100,000 is gonna be what I'm gonna need to get this stuff done. Now by the second half of 2023, I'm gonna have about 60,000 pounds of savings. So on top of that, I have about 20,000 pounds equity in this place. I'm gonna have about 10,000 pounds of the mortgage paid off. And then I'm hoping that I'm gonna have an increase in value to the property, enough to make about 12,000 pounds on the property when I sell. If I can't and the property goes down or stays the same or anything like that, then I'm gonna you know, have to rethink, not my plan, but just the timeframes. Although it will still be well into like the time frame I'm looking at. So although my plan is to sort of reach financial independence at 35, being able to build this house in three years time puts me at 
31 when I've got this house fully built and paid off. And then essentially what I'm gonna do is move there and have my sort of income sources from part-time jobs. So essentially be partially retired at 31. So I'm still gonna be working, but it's not gonna be the kind of full-time work where I'm nine to five in an office. And again, things might change, but that's just the current plan. If my house doesn't go up in value and stuff like that, I will obviously be staying here for a bit longer to make up the difference and stuff like that. But hopefully that gives you a good idea of the numbers that I'm looking at and why it makes it a bit easier to achieve financial independence. But if you watched my like Topia app interview, I actually had a question asked in terms of what if I wanted to stay in England. It was actually about staying in London, but I mentioned actually if I wanted to stay in England, I wouldn't stay in London. And I could easily find a place for a hundred thousand pounds somewhere in the countryside or you know, a flat in Sheffield, for example. Okay, so my battery ran out when I was filming that initial clip and I just wanted to mention a couple more things before logging off. You can obviously see I'm in a different place now and hopefully it's not too echoey in here. But essentially, just on that point about like countryside and Sheffield and things, clearly it would work very differently in terms of cost of living and stuff like that. Um, but it's entirely possible in terms of having that kind of plan, get, achieving it in the same time frame, and then just working towards that sort of income in terms of not having to work, but actually reducing your living costs in terms of not having to worry about a rental mortgage is a huge step in achieving that for a lot of people. So although my plan obviously is in terms of Poland, you should know that it's still achievable for you as long as you're not gonna want to live somewhere that's really expensive. The plan also assumes that all of my money be put into savings and go towards the house, but then anything in terms of side hustle income or anything like that, I will be putting towards obviously investments, which will then start to generate me more and more passive income. So there I'm talking about things like my passive income reports and then the money from AdSense here and stuff like that. Hopefully I've answered all the questions that you guys might have, but if I've missed anything and forgotten about something, especially since my camera ran out midway through and it kind of interrupted the train of thoughts, just let me know in the comments below. As you know, I'm completely transparent about everything and I'll just answer your questions when I'm able to. Just two other things that I hadn't mentioned previously as I re-watched the video. The first is I've already purchased the land. It was, you might have seen it on the notepad. That was about 10,000 pounds. It's already paid off. I actually took a loan out to buy it just because the perfect location opened up and I didn't want to miss the opportunity of buying the land. And then the other thing, again, on the notepad, you might have noticed that I said there might be, there will, well, not might be, there will be costs in terms of doing up the place. So things like the kitchen and stuff like that, which I haven't included in the initial things that I told you because it's really difficult to know how much that's gonna be. So I've got a ballpark figure, but obviously as I'm doing things up, I will know how much it's gonna cost. It completely depends on how I decorate things and what kitchen I go for and what everything else I go for. So yeah, anyway. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Again, let me know if you have any questions and see you in the next video. Bye.